Hello, hello. To all you beautiful souls, all you dear brothers and sisters, no matter where you are, all over the whole multiverse. Welcome uh, to a new kind of freedom where we don't have to search for a truth. There isn't all these rules and regulations where there's freedom in the sound of silence. There's no shame. There's no judgment. Some of us are healing traumatic grief and loss, shock and abuse. So it's good to remember what it sounds like to me in this world a lot of ways. What's becoming apparent to me? Oh, I can't share it to a group. Interesting. It is the lack of compassion for trauma survivors. It seems to me that he, much of humanity is addicted if not obsessed with finding the truth anywhere, everywhere, outside of themselves. The animals do not watch the television. They do not pay a cable bill. They don't even need gaggle, fake book, screw tube. They don't wear masks and they aren't afraid to die. They don't even need to go fetch the paper. Ask the squirrels. They don't even know where they hid their last nuts. They might be diagnosed with ADD. It's become apparent to me how many people are searching outside of themselves instead of healing their own addictions, obsessions, trauma, past. How many people can't just sit comfortably in the sound of silence and allow ourselves to feel. Our feeling self, our emotional self, our emotional being. Are we still beautiful without makeup? Smoking a CBG, CBD tobacco stick. I'm fighting a lot of health issues that are exacerbated by stress. I've had to mute my phone for two years because I have a very bad startle reflex from noises. I actually faint as well. I have panic disorder and complex PTSD. In the middle of a pandemic, while all these people are wanting us to not breathe, and the mask police are everywhere and all this fear, chaos, and confusion has taken over the world. And all we really want is peace and quiet. I taught for two years out of 
all of my spiritual books for healing and recovery of addiction. My name is Heather, and I've been teaching out of the book, The Language of Letting Go for Codependency for two years, two and a half years on YouTube. Until today, and one day my soul just opened up. I like to watch the animals more than YouTube, or more than Facebook. I love to be at the park. I love to be free. I'm Heather Dawn. And I'm a grateful overcomer, ex-addict in recovery. I have six years, six and a half years, no opiates, two and a half years, no psych meds, no benzodiazepines, nothing for anxiety from the doctors, no matter how many antidepressants they tried to give me, I had to quit all of them and follow my heart. On July 22nd, my grandfather's birthday, Bill Kite. I will have one year no alcohol. And right now, all I want above all else is peace. Sometimes when I'm alone, I just sob my eyes out. Praying that I'll just wake up. It's hard. Most people would never understand what it's like to go on without your child. Especially when you only had one. So I'm going to carry on following my heart and my intuition and listening to myself. My own inner guidance, my higher power. I've been led astray so many times by this world and its ways. And the best day of my life was in prison when Jesus told me just how much he loved me. And if I would just follow him and listen to him very closely, fasting and praying, I would never ever be led astray. The narrow way is the hard way fasting and praying on my knees in a prison cell while all the other girls went to lunch. It was much more peaceful than sitting in a chow hall full of 80 women screaming. <laughs> you learn how to ground yourself by looking outside the window, see, even in a prison chow hall. You can like get all your coping skills thank god for prison classes they taught me a whole lot more than school ever did about loving myself forgiving myself thank god for alcoholics anonymous thank god for addicts anonymous recovery skills lifestyle redirection healthy boundaries healthy relationships parenting teen parenting Oh, thank God for all those classes. Seeking safety. Oh, thank heavens for those. Diane and Brom Levy, the prison psychologist. She was there every single time. 2006, 2013, 2014. Third time was the charm. Thank God I found myself, right? I thought I was doing it all to be the best mom I could be. But it turns out I was doing it to be the best me I could be. I love you all so much. I'm going to go listen to some music or the sound of silence, birds chirping. My child's birthday is next month, I'd imagine. 
that day's gonna be pretty hard, A1998. It'll be pretty hard, 99 again. My child, Kayla Nicole Orban, AKA Kenneth Michael, who was cremated on 9-11. 2020. It's a shame when we have to change our identity. I'm not sure I ever want a man to touch me again either, to tell you the truth. And I think my Jesus understands. Absolutely. So whoever you are, I hope you know how especially essential you are. My child left me a million notes. And so we battle addiction, shame, resiliency. It's not the critic who counts, right? That's in the book, Daring Greatly, Rising Strong. Brene Brown. I thought it was just me, but it isn't. The language of letting go of shame is August 19th. That's my child's birthday. I was reading that that day and I dropped everything while I was teaching on YouTube, doing my best. Through all levels of psychosis and disassociation. I made it. One step at a time. I made it. With plants. Like Mary Jane. No chemicals. Plants from the earth. Not the pharmaceutical companies. I just posted this card. Some people are afraid of cards. They judge me for my cards. They judge me for everything under the sun when Jesus already redeemed us. It's humans that are judges, not Jesus. He said, do not judge. Actually, that's exactly what he said, do not judge. Thou shalt love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your mind, and all your soul. Psalm 91, 1-1-2. Those are the nine fruits of the Spirit. Jesus said, leave 99 to collect the lost one. My child, Kayla Nicole, was a Leo's son. That's the tree of life. My star of David. Her father's name was David. So I put this all together and drew it all myself. I know why Nikola Tesla lived to be alone. You can think but without people asking so many questions. The Kabbalah, Yahshua, all the archangels, and the pillars between severity and mercy. Red and blue equal purple in an artist's mind. All of the colors together on the light spectrum make white. So the Gospels of Thomas went over to India, emotional blockages whatever you want to call it, it's energy. This is all in my pictures. We are not meant to live 
in adrenaline mode all our lives. Depression shrinks the brain. We're supposed to be here, not living in fear. Think clearly and prevent vicarious trauma and compassion fatigue. That's the autonomic nervous system, psychologist. So that's it. I love you all so much. Have a blessed and beautiful day.